Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pink and YouTube channel. My name is Connor Southall. Another day, another signing for Norwich City. They've completed the signing of Sebastian Soto, the American youth international. He's joined from Hanover 96, where his contract expired. Um, we've been expecting this one for a while. It's probably not particularly new news to anyone, um, particularly if you've been following the German press. And that was um, a, a rumour, I think, that first broke last month, actually, um, to say that, that Norwich City were interested in, uh, in Sebastian Soto. And uh, that deal has been completed. What do we know about him? He's, he's an American youth international. Um, and the reality is he's probably going to be an addition for Norwich City's under-23s. Although, um, as we broke yesterday on, on Pinken.com, he is currently in uh, Holland training with SE Telstar, which is where um, Charlie Gilmore spent last season on loan uh, with a view to a potential loan move. Um, essentially, there's been some issues with his work permit. He was due to play for the American national team um, prior to... Uh, prior to lockdown, um, but that obviously didn't happen. I think there were games against the Netherlands and, and Wales that he was expected to be called up to the senior team for. Um, alas, they, they didn't happen. So that work permit has been a little bit of an issue. And Norwich City are trying to get him out on loan, probably in Holland um, with Telstar, if, if that trial goes well and, and they like what they see after the clubs have, have forged a relationship um, last season because of uh, Gilmore. I'll try and... Um, just to reference my notes in terms of what I've got on Sebastian Soto. Um, so yeah, played in Germany last season. He's, he's one of the players who followed Christian Pulisic and uh, Weston McKenney in terms of going from America to um, Europe. And he started his career at San Diego Surf, which is in California, before moving to uh, Rail Salt Lake. You may be able to see my cat in the background there. He's uh, He's been desperate to feature in one of these videos. So there you go. He's, he's there on my windowsill. Anyway, back to Soto. Um, yeah, it then moved to Rail Salt Lake in the MLS um, in 2016 before going uh, to join Hanover and he made his professional debut against Wolfsburg in April 2019. He has scored in the Bundesliga and he also starred in last summer's uh, World Under-20 World Cup. He scored four times uh, to help USA reach the quarterfinals. So th there's plenty of pedigree there. Um, 20 years of age. And um, I, I think he's he's one that they've probably taken a little bit of a chance on. Obviously, Daniel Farker and Stuart Weber are going to be aware of them. That that German market is one that they like to shop in um, traditionally. And, and, and we've seen them dip into that market again to bring Soto to Norwich City. Don't think he's going to be someone we see immediately, especially given the fact that Norwich City currently have Timi Buki, Josip Dermic and Adam Ida, um, as their main free striking options going into the Championship next season. Um, of course, that's dependent on whether they're all here at the start of the season. It's also dependent on whether Norwich City decide to bolster that um, their attacking options further. Um, he's also uh, a dual national. I believe he's, he can um, technically play for Mexico if he wanted to, but um, his allegiance very much with the USA. He is um, someone who's, who's been fairly prolific at youth level and um, his, his composure and, and quality in front of goal has, has been sort of noticed by um, a lot of his former coaches as well. So there's plenty of ability there and, and it's a, a typical Norwich City signing really. So signing a young player on a, on a free transfer with the hope of developing them um, a, a little bit further. So there you go. I, I probably won't go into more depth than that. It's an under 23 signing, but it's an addition nonetheless. Um, I'll just read you some of his quotes from, from Norwich City's release. Uh, I'm a striker that loves scoring goals. Um, I, I love being part of a good team that plays good football. Um, and he said, I'm looking forward to playing at Carrow Road in front of these great fans and making my mark here. It will be a dream come true when that happens. So there you go. Sebastian Soto, the fourth new signing of the window um, after Jakob Sorensen, uh, Pluetta and Bali Mumba yesterday. Um, I think we, we're probably expecting um, one more uh, in terms of one that's imminent. And then we're also um, expecting probably about three or four more this summer window, um, which is which is probably going to shape up to be a little bit of an overhaul um, and, and also some departures as well on, on top of that. Um, so it's, it's, it's going to be a hectic transfer window. Of course, pre-season starts in three weeks for Norwich City. This condensed schedule is means the turnaround between seasons is, is unbelievably short and they're going to have to get these preparations right. That's why that they've, they've tried to be proactive. They try to show that they're moving on and switching the narrative, so to speak. And these additions help create, in terms of communications, helps create that excitement for the next season. And Sebastian Soto, even though he's a 23 signing, um, will add to that excitement a little bit more. He's a striker with immense pedigree, um, with international recognition. Uh, as I said, was close to being uh, fully capped for the for the uh, US men's national team, which is no short feat at all. Um, and it'll be really exciting to see his development and, and how Norwich City picture 
um, him. We know when Daniel Farker and Stuart Webber recruit a player that they tend to have a, a really um, strong pathway and plan for their development. It will be interesting to see what their plan is for, for Soto. 20 years of age, as I said, so probably not the youngest signing they'll make when you compare that Bally Mumba was 18 yesterday, although he's going straight into the first team squad, as, as we said, and you can check out uh, my reaction to that video on the channel as well. Um, but uh, he is probably, and we tend to hear the, the signings that they send out on loan or those players they have on loan, those young players, usually they're the ones that they have the highest hopes for. And um, we've seen with, as I said, Charlie Gilmore, also Todd Cantwell, who went out to Holland. It's a very technical league. It's a league where um, players can sort of get to grips with, with the technical style of play that Norwich City want to play. So um, this may be sort of an educational year. And then if Norwich City are in the championship next season, um, and they have to prepare, then Soto could be a viable option to bring in in, in that situation. But um, we will see. I, I think he'll, he'll probably go immediately out on loan. But nonetheless, Norwich City have completed the signing of Sebastian Soto, the fourth of the summer.